Let's check out these beauties. They arrived early, by the way, two days, so this is going to be released early. So I was very pleased with them because they gave me a beauty consultation as far as my color matching because I have since changed the color of my own hair to more of a platinum with a shadow root. So I was unsure of which color to order. They recommended to be number 60, which seems to be on point. Um, I did do a bit of toning to my own hair to make it this silvery. And um, I find that it's best for me to use the same toner um, in the extensions themselves when the hair is this light. I like the Blonde Excellence. You can get this at Sally. It's only $5.19 and it is a godsend. You just squirt a couple of squirts on there, which I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate for you. And you would just um, comb it straight on through. I'm going to start with our bottoms. Okay, treat it with the love and respect it deserves. And keep it beautiful for as long as possible, as these extensions do really last if you just give them a little love. They will definitely be there for you. So if you notice how much the tone has changed already, um, I'm going to add a couple more. It just gives you that continuity kind of to get it all set out like so. I'm just going to comb it. See how, wow, look how smooth this beautiful hair is and how long and thick and lush. Alrighty, so now I'm on the next level and I've sectioned off the four areas with rubber bands to secure my clips. So a 90 degree angle coming in, slide it down until it's parallel with your head. Um, where's the second? Two is the second one, okay. Um, and get it close to your scalp and right above the rubber band. It's not quite on it or the clip won't close, but right, right above it. In between your scalp and the rubber band. It's exactly where you want it. Um, to secure it firmly. Now, my third clip. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm on my fourth. I'm just going to go. It's going to meet all the way at the, a little bit past the very back of my head. Okay, so here we are at the ever important last row of hair. Okay, the very bottom, the baby hairs. So go ahead and dry shampoo that. And now you don't want these hanging out because it's the most telltale sign that you're wearing extension. So what I do is I just take the whole area and back comb it. Okay. Then I start on one end of that hair, of those baby hairs that you do not want hanging out, revealing your short hair underneath. And you're going to just kind of roll it and then grab another piece, which I also like roll or twist, if you will, but I just kind of twist them together to create a very loose, not loose, but um, or if you're good at braiding, do a cornrow by all means, that would be the best. But I don't even take the time to do that, I don't find it necessary. I just kind of twist it on over, and then I rubber band the two twisted pieces together, and I pull it tight to the scalp. Then, with the tail end of that, I continue twisting with um, a piece of remaining hair that's down and I pick up another piece so I'm sort of like French twisting if you will I don't know if that's a <laughs> term or not but it shouldn't be I don't think but anyhow it's just the French roll I guess down the back end oops there goes nearing and then I just tie it up under my opposite ear so it's ear to ear pretty secure so I'm um, don't letting the loose hairs get in there because that would be problematic so for good measure we're gonna give this an extra rubber band here to get it nice and secure and that's a little trick I learned along the way a lot of you may know it some of you may not if so this is something that We'll definitely up your extensions game to keep your shorter hairs underneath from showing. So ear, once again 90 degree against your head, slide it until it's parallel to your head, gives you a nice grip. 
and with little no gap in between your clip and your scalp. And those I place somewhere around the front normally, um, just to fill it out or behind the ear, around the ear, or things like that. You'll you'll know where you need those two pieces if you're using this installation pattern, if you will. Although there's so many different patterns, it's just since I've been growing out of pixie cut, I've sort of tend to use the methods that I found that are best for shorter hair. And people used to tell me you can't wear extensions unless your hair is a certain length or so many inches. Mm, I beg to differ. Unless your hair is shaved. I mean, you can almost even cover an undercut if you know what you're doing. Um, if you'd like more tutorials on how to do clip-ins or beaded wefts or any type of extension really on super short hair. If you're going on a pixie, because I've been there, ladies. And it can be traumatic if it wasn't your choice. You know, I was in a hair show and um, on stage by a reputable, you would know, but I'm not gonna name the name, hair company who have I've done a lot of hair shows for. Um, well, this time it just went desperately wrong and they pixied me. It was the same year that Miley Cyrus came out with that pixie cut. So I did not see that coming since I'd always had good experiences and they just pixied me on stage. And so, whew, I've been in the extension whirlwind ever since. But now I have learned through trial and error. Plus, I did go to cosmetology school, so I am knowledgeable. But extensions were not my speciality by any means. But they are becoming quickly my speciality. Anyhow, out of necessity, I trial and errored many different methods of installation and what have you. And I found so many ways to get around that. You can wear extensions even if your hair is very short. And if you'd like me to do more tutorials on that, please comment below. Everyone, please like and subscribe. I'm a brand new channel, but I have a wealth of information I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm just going to use the teasing method on these two. Um, so I just tease that up. A little bit better, actually. Have a look at our finished product. These are my clip-ins, 20 inches in platinum by Renature installed.